Welcome to the first ever episode of Ask Steven, where you ask me questions and I answer them. Let's get started. If you could, what ice cream flavor would you have erased? So, um, my preference of ice cream is more like good flavors, like coffee, ice cream, anything with cookies in them, chocolate, vanilla. The, the kinds of ice cream flavors that I would just have disappear would be fruit flavored ice creams, specifically banana. Who eats banana ice cream? Like I get that there are some more popular banana flavored ice cream like banana cream pie or chunky monkey, but personally I have never been a fan of banana ice cream or really banana anything that's not actually a banana. Like bananas on their own are very, very good. It's, if, it's artificial banana flavor, like banana Laffy Taffy. Banana Laffy Taffy is so gross. I cannot tell you how gross they are. Also, banana slushy. Whoever came up with banana slushy must have been high because I've tried banana slushy before and they are so freaking disgusting. They are just very, very gross. I highly don't recommend you try banana anything that's not a banana because bananas are great on their own. They don't need to be put into anything to be, to be made great because they will not be made great. They'll just be made worse. Can you give me $20? No. What do you think will happen to theme parks after quarantine is done? I, I have been thinking that they may limit the number of people in queue lines or may go to solely all virtual lines. Um, well, that's a very good question. Um, I have been thinking a lot about this too because I'm really questioning if any of the Six Flags or Cedar Fair parks will even have their 2020 season and if they are, what precautions that they'll have to, to keep everybody safe. Um, I honestly think that they will not open this year. I, even though I really don't want that to happen, um, I honestly think that they probably won't open this year. And it's due, it's mainly due to safety precautions, like social distancing. Um, if they, and plus if you were to get onto a ride, it's impossible to stay six feet apart from each other unless they cut down capacity, will, which will make lines even worse than they already are. So my answer to that is they probably won't open this year. They will probably open next year. It's sad to say, but honestly, that's how I feel. Because with social distancing, it'll just make lines and ride capacity just more terrible than they already are. Do you like the online learning or do you like being in school better? Personally, I much rather be online learning because it allows me to work at my own pace. I can take my time on things. I don't have to rush to get things done. Teachers allow things to be done a due days a couple days after the after they post it up on Google Classroom. So I think I prefer online school better, but I would not, but, but I would not mind going back to school because I miss seeing all my friends' faces and not on a screen where I cannot physically hug them. I would rather be online, but, but I'd rather go back to school to see everybody's pretty little faces. What are some things you have done besides schoolwork? Well, mainly I have been focusing on my actual job because I am one of the fortunate people who still have a job in this world right now. Um, I currently work at a nursing home as an activities assistant, which is a very cool job. I really enjoy working there and it's really fun. Um, I've also been working very hard to put some content out on my YouTube channel because I want to take this channel to the next level. I want to start creating more, more and more content that involves me doing a lot more, you know, editing and a lot more work. So, so a couple of things that I've been doing is I've been thinking about what I've been wanting to do 
And if you have any ideas on what you want me to do for my channel, put, post it in the comments below. I am curious as to what you want me to do. Also, I've also been plan working on roller coasters in a game called Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, roller Coaster Tycoon is what it sounds like. It's you, you make roller co you basically make your own amusement park. Um, I'm thinking about making videos on that, so stay tuned for the future. But right now, I'm mainly focusing on work, my schoolwork, obviously, and making content for my YouTube channel. What made you decide to start your YouTube channel? Well, I mainly started my YouTube channel because I had started posting things on my IGTV channel. And if you don't know what IGTV is, it's Instagram TV. I started posting things on my IGTV channel, but nobody really seemed to notice any of anything because, well, A, I wasn't posting as often as, well, on YouTube. And it's because I was very limited to what I could do on Instagram, having having only make, like, a single single stream video, like making a video that's not edited, just making a video from start to finish on what you wanted to do. And there was a time frame that you could follow, that you had to follow to make your videos. It could be from a minute to 15 minutes. And with my content recently, it's gotten over like 20 minutes. So the reason why I started my YouTube channel is because I wanted to start creating content. I wanted to start coming out of my shell and being more social and being able to post my feelings on, well, not really my feelings, like what's going on up here. What's what I'm thinking of up here and spreading it out. So that's why I've been posting a lot of stuff like my autism video or my top 30 Disney movies videos is because it was all up here, but I wanted to share it with an audience. I wanted to share it with the world. So it's been really fun and I've experienced a lot of growth. And if you don't subscribe right now, I will be very sad. So subscribe because I have new stuff coming soon. What is your favorite part about being a YouTuber? Um, I wouldn't call myself a YouTuber just yet, mainly because, well, I'm only starting out and I only have 22 subscribers. But my favorite part about being, my favorite thing about being part of YouTube is seeing how my, seeing the response of my videos. Like when I post a video, I don't really expect much because there are a lot more content that you guys could watch other than myself. But whenever I go into the YouTube studio, I'm always surprised with the response that I get from my videos. Like for example, my my quarantine video, my top 30 things to do while in quarantine. I did not expect that to blow up as well as it did. It has it currently has 73 views and it is my second most viewed video on YouTube with my number one being my autism video, Autism My Experience. Um, and I always am surprised with the response I get from my YouTube videos, especially the ones that I work very, very hard on. So my favorite part about being on YouTube is seeing, is seeing how much you guys love and enjoy my videos. And I hope to make more as the future goes on. And hopefully when we get out of this quarantine, I'm able to make more content, not just from my home, but from all over. Because there are so many things that I wanted to do that I currently cannot do because of the coronavirus. So hopefully when we get out of this quarantine, I'm able to do more things outside of my home, like going places or doing things. So, so yeah, that's why I've enjoyed being part of YouTube and, you know, continuing to grow. Do you believe that older Disney movies slash Disney shows from the early 2000s are much more relatable to kids ages 16 to 18 than movies slash shows that came out around 2010-ish? Well, 
I really don't watch Disney movie, Disney shows on Disney Channel that were made about right now. I've always watched watched uh, TV shows from the early two thousands and early, and early two thousand tens. Like I've always I've watched Hannah Montana. I know I'm a I'm a boy, but I lo I love watching Hannah Montana. Um, I've also watched a lot of other shows like Ant Farm. Um, Good Luck Charlie, Austin and Allie. Uh, I haven't seen That So Raven, but I probably should start watching. Um, the Sweet Life series and so much more. And honestly, I feel like those shows are more relatable to kids of our age than the shows and movies that came, that come out right now, mainly because the premise of the shows prior to 2016 make a lot of sense. The shows on Disney Channel now, I simply just don't like because they, I feel like Disney tr Disney Channel tries a little too hard with their content. And that's driven me away from watching their current shows because I just think that they're really stupid. And that's what I, that's what I think mostly with Nickelodeon shows, not just Disney Channel, but Nickelodeon shows, they just become so stupid. Like, iCarly and Victorious used to be so good, and then they just stopped being good. They started becoming stupid. So I believe that the early 2000s Disney Channel shows were more relatable to kids than the Disney Channel shows that are out now. If you could write a Disney movie, what would it be about? So, if I were to write a Disney movie, it would be about a video game character who wants to become a good... Oh, shit. There's already a movie like that. Um, okay. Okay, so... It'd be about a... It'd be about... Um... A princess who has magical powers... Who? Oh shoot! There's a no, there's a movie just like that. Um, I'd write a movie about anything that Disney hasn't done yet. Um, that's what I'd write my movie about. Um, cause there are there's limited things that Disney hasn't done. Um, I'd probably write maybe a rated R Disney movie. They don't have one of those yet, so maybe I'll write a movie that's rated R. I don't know. And finally, this one's my favorite. What Disney songs would make up the soundtrack of your life? So the soundtrack of my life would contain Can You Feel the Love Tonight from The Lion King, Friend Like Me from Aladdin, A Whole New World from Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, and Be Our Guest from Beauty and the Beast. Um... Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid. Um, what else? Um, See the Light from Tangled. Um, Let It Go. Also, Do You Want to Build a Snowman from Frozen. Um, Into the Unknown from Frozen 2. Um, what else? Uh, How Far I Will Go from Moana. And what else would make up the soundtrack of my life? Oh yeah, of course, When You Wish Upon a Star from Pinocchio. Of course, that'd be the, that would be the main song of the soundtrack of my life. It, it would be When You Wish Upon a Star because it's like one of my favorite songs. Oh, and how could I forget the bare necessities from The Jungle Book? I mean, I was Baloo in The Jungle Book Jr., so of course I'd have to have The Bare Necessities. Um, what else? What else would be on the soundtrack of my life? So, I, I already said, Can You Feel the Love Tonight from The Lion King, Beauty and the Beast and Be Our Guest from Beauty and the Beast, A Whole New World and Friend Like Me from Aladdin. Um, what else? I said part of your world from The Little Mermaid. See the light from Tangled. How far I'll go from Moana. Um, Let it go. And do you want to build a snowman from Frozen? 
Into the Unknown from Frozen 2. And then I said The Bare Necessities from The Jungle Book. And When You Wish Upon a Star from Pinocchio. So that is it for the first ever episode of Ask Steven Now. Um, if you'd like there to be a second episode, then it's up to you. Leave me some comments or leave me some questions down below in the comments so I can make this maybe a weekly thing. Maybe. It's all up to you. It's all up to you guys to make this a weekly thing. Ask me some questions. Ask me a question about anything. And I mean anything. Even if I don't know anything about it, just ask me a question. Ask me a question in the in the comments below so that I can answer it in the next episode of Ask Steven. And also, if you're posting a question on social media, like on Twitter and Instagram, please use the hashtag Ask Steven. Um, even on Facebook, if you're asking me a question on social media, use the hashtag S Ask Steven um, and help me out. I want to make this a weekly Q&A show, so it all depends on you. Ask me some questions down below. As always, ple please be sure to subscribe and punch the bell in the face. Punch that bell so you get notified about when I make my next video which is I don't know when, but I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to ask me some questions down in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and punch the bell. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.